guys, it's Michelle and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing my second look with this beautiful Too Faced Palm Springs Dream Palette. This is the look I created today. The first look I did, I only used a few colors in the palette, so I really wanted to give everyone a well-rounded idea of how the shadows perform on the eye, the shimmers, the mattes, all of the shades, you know, perform a little differently. So it's good to see how they perform, get some ideas on if you'd want to purchase this palette or not. So if you want to see how I created this look, then please just keep watching. All right, so let's go in with my second look with the Too Faced Palm Springs Dream Palette. I have been really enjoying this. I've done a few looks not on camera with this palette. I do like the pigmentation. They blend really easily. I haven't gone in with this kind of color, this color, this color. I've only done the neutrals. So I wanted to try something with those colors and see how they perform. I do find the pigment of this to be way better than this white peach palette. Unfortunately, this one is just not good. And I've seen a lot of other reviews of people saying the exact same thing. So it's not just me. I'm going to start out with She's Lit directly in the crease. I really, really love this shade it's perfect transition color orangey peachy neutral shade i don't know how i feel about the blue it's so severely dark it looks kind of light in the pan it looks like it'd be a nice like medium tone blue with shimmer in it but when you swatch it it's quite dark and you barely see the shimmer maybe with some glitter glue I guess we'll decide as I go. So we're going in with Mocktail next, just beneath that peach shade. Isn't that such a gorgeous orange? I love it. I'm just gonna go back in with this blending brush with no extra product first and just try to blend out the edges. It's getting hot in here. I don't have the fan on, so you don't have to hear that shh while I'm doing my makeup but I may have to turn it on because I'm dying okay, we're gonna go back in with she's lit that a little bit at the top so bring that color back there's not a huge amount of variations you could do with this palette I'm gonna go in with cabana time and just put that around the brow bone soften the edges a little bit more So we're gonna use a NYX glitter glue. One of my besties here on YouTube always uses glitter glue. She kind of got me started doing it. I mean, I had used glitter glue before, but I didn't always use it for my shimmer shades. So she uses it and I've been doing it. It really helps. So thank you for that tip. I'm just gonna be running to the grocery store. So I don't really wanna have anything too crazy on my eyes. And that'll be probably coming home and taking the makeup off. So I'm not even cutting the crease with concealer. We're just going to see how this works on its own. Get a nice flat shadow brush. And we're going to go in with that blue. I almost want to go in with the pink just because that blue is so dark. Let's go in with swizzle stick. See if this color swank was lighter I would be all over it but I'm not really down for dark shades on my lid and you normally don't put a shimmer in your crease like if it didn't have shimmer it'd be a beautiful crease color that's applying very very nicely it's actually very very pretty I love this dirty martini shade last call tfti they're all really beautiful the pink and the blue just kind of stands out like why did they put that in there it almost doesn't go with the palette but everybody's been doing that throwing in like one pop of color so it's kind of cool i mean you can get like a nice sunsetty type of eye then you just throw a pink in there and i don't know what do you think do you think that goes well together i'm nervous to do this blue but we're gonna try It's like the shimmer doesn't really show up. It just looks like a dark blue. So maybe I could use it in a crease. A little small crease blending brush. 
we're just gonna go right deep into the eye socket here see how that looks see I almost feel like the pinks and the blues would look nicer with like a rainbow eye like different kinds of colors greens other types of pinks and stuff but the warm tones I don't know I don't love them together the shade is performing nicely which is what matters you see a little bit of silver glitter reflex in it but overall it looks like it's just a dark blue whereas the pink you can really see the shimmer there is a little bit of fallout from that shade i am wearing the sephora matte tinted moisturizer today again this is my second time trying it so far i'm not seeing any cakiness it's sitting really nice on the skin let's try going in with a little bit of saucy and bossy in the crease Add a little more dimension. I don't know. It looks okay. I kind of wish I didn't do both colors. Probably wouldn't wear this anywhere. At the grocery store, I don't really care, but like if I was going somewhere, I wouldn't wear it like this. Just trying out the shades, seeing how they look. I really love the pink, it's really vibrant. It's nice and glittery, but that blue is not my favorite. Oh, it's applying much better on this side. Maybe you just need to work really fast once you put that glitter glue on. You better get in there immediately and stick that shadow. A little bit more glitter glue on the blue on this side and try to build it up like it did on this side because it went really nice on this side. vibrant see if you can build it up back in with swank and try to build up this color on this side okay and then last the only color I haven't used as well is buzzkill right here I think I'm gonna use that as an inner corner we're gonna put glitter glue down because that is a very shimmery shade and we want to get the most impact we can. Let glitter glue inside here. Hopefully it's not one of those type of shades that the glitter is gonna get in my eyeballs. I really like putting glitter in the inner corner for some of my looks, but it is so hard to get out and not get it in your eyes when you're trying to take it off. You gotta be really careful with glitters because it can scratch your cornea. Let's try Buzzkill. Oh, it's very flaky. Pretty though. It's actually quite pretty. The way you can see it in the camera. Take this small brush going with She's Lit. Bring in some of Mocktail on the outer portion of the lower lash line. They do have a lot of kick up. And then we're gonna go in with a flat brush like this. I'm gonna go in with Swank and bring it right underneath the lash line, like stamp it in there. I need to get me some colorful eyeliners that actually work. Going with swizzle stick, Put that in the inner portion right at the lash line. Could have put some glitter glue there, but it's working pretty well without. You can definitely see it. We're just gonna do just for the fun of it and we're gonna take some of dirty martini and put that under the lower lash line right in the middle to kind of give it like a pop. Kind of dropping sparkles all over my face, that shade. Funny how different shades perform, you know, from the same palette so differently. Like I just used Swank and Swizzle Stick under my eyes and none of it dropped, but Dirty Martini is super crumbly. If you can see, I've used this only three times and look at how much it looks digged into. Like 
it's literally just half of it's missing and I've used it three times. I don't like that. I don't like when the color is going to go super fast because it's so crumbly. Okay, so this is going to be my final look. So I have had this makeup on for a couple of hours and look at what's happening here. The pink is completely missing right there. I'm not happy about that. Like if I was at the mall, I look like I don't know how to do makeup. If you enjoyed this tutorial and seeing how this palette works, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Let me know that you're enjoying my content. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you join my Empire family. And until the next time, bye. Oh.